Um, this is my first video. I wanted to see if you guys like it. I will continue posting more. So I'd like to show you first my setup, how I look at the market. I have three screens. So this is my screen on my left. Um, if I can show you here. This is the screen on the left that I have that I watched the main names. Netflix Shop, Baba, AMD, Amazon, Apple, FB, Tesla, Microsoft, Google, Boeing, and Roku. And then on my right side of the screen, I can show you here. Um, I have another set of uh, 12 charts, which all of them are in the five minutes time frame. And mostly are the, you know, if I get any alert on a specific name, I put them here or there is a name on a trend I want to watch and I put it here but the three on this side there is the VIX, S&P 500 and RUT that I watch to see how's the market doing uh, which for example this last Friday um, you see the market was mainly flat toward the end we had some jump and RUT you can see during the it went down and during the day went down but I mean it gives you RUT gives you an overall picture of the market that how's the whole market doing. Anyway, this is the main screen I work on. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different time frame. There's one minute, five minutes, then 15, 30, one hour, four hour, and um, daily and weekly. So whenever I want to trade, I uh, put the name here. They automatically all sync in uh, Thinkorswim and uh, I just have to zoom in um, so this Friday there were like couple names at the end of the market they all start running up like Google Apple Baba and Netflix I'm gonna give you an example of Apple how could you identify the bottom and how could you take that trade for at least a 50% gain and playing safe uh, next week options not the same day expiration so for example if we look at the five minutes chart during the day it opens it went up down up down up down um well if you're a very fast trader yes you can buy in any deep and sell at any top but i'm personally i'm not that kind of person so i look at the when i want to make a trade i want to at least be able to hold it for a couple hours or like you know so get the maximum gain i can try to buy it at the bottom and then sell it at the at the top at least for a couple hours make it at least you know 30% to whatever higher I can sell so for here if you notice um, I use um, different kind of indicators I have the MACD, RSI, a Statistic Fast and TTM Squeeze which is all of these are my favorite and I use them all the time and and this is a specific name Apple if you notice the 15 minute, the 15 minute chart MACD um, was toward down until here at exactly 1.30 started golden crossing and um, if you notice in the five minutes it was a lot of time golden cross, dead cross, golden cross, dead cross but specifically at this time it was the confirmation that now is time to run up so there is many times you know the MACD on five minutes can golden cross or you know dead cross but like if you look at the time frame here it is right it gives you a signal that is about to go um, about to go high especially you know if this this candle is eating the the candle previous candle and also um, there was a moment here exactly at one o'clock that in one minute chart the apple got um, oversold so you see this blue a sign here and also you know um, in the squeeze in the 15 minute you see all all day was red yellow red, red yellow and then once it becomes blue light blue and the blue is keep getting bigger and bigger that means it's about to go higher and higher until until it gives you a dark blue so um, all I want to say is um, these uh, indicators are very beautiful and always most of the time it's best to wait for 15 minute chart to golden cross to gives you to give you a confirmation that this is a true bounce and um, it's a run up and then also you know you can look at the 30 minute and one hour and four hour to confirm it if it's right or not so if you look here at 130 
exactly was um, the confirmation that this is golden cross but then um, here um, later time you can see uh, that it gives you more confirmation when the other time frames start going up so you always have to look at the angle and also um, the other thing to keep in mind is uh, if you are day trading it's always best to log gains during the day especially if you see like you know the the angle is getting flat and is about to you know about to get a dead cross it's, it's the best to lock the gain you know you don't want to risk it overnight you never know what's gonna happen especially like this weekend this long weekend now the futures are red so if you, anybody hold anything if anybody had hold anything right now it would it be red so um, anyway just want to show you like how beautiful this uh, times uh, this TTM squeeze works like you can see it goes from blue the light blue and then once it becomes dark blue it gives you a warning that maybe the run is over and then um, you can see here again this was a good place to buy at 3.30, 3.25 it started to going running up again so I always um, whenever I, I want to decide if it's bottom or not I look at the yellow bar if it's turning from yellow to light blue and also I look at the MACD or the 5MA and the 10MA and um, statistic fast it's really super fast like it goes up and down a lot but that's just for momentum like you want to really get catch the bottom like here was a good place to buy here was a good place to buy you know it's something on the run you can uh, you want to you don't you want to make sure you don't buy at the top so you wait for a dip a statistic can help you a lot to find a good dip and you know also on RSI when you go over overbought you know you want to always consider maybe it's, it's a good time to sell so anyway we're gonna stop this here um, if you guys like it I can post more later and sorry for my if I'm not too pro about this we'll try to get better you all have a great night